We'll guide you through how to find the clipboard on an Android. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is really convenient because when you go and copy something, it's then put onto the clipboard. So when you go and have the clipboard and you can access it, you can easily go and then paste what you've got and copied. What I think is really convenient as well is let's say you go and copy something that then goes and means you can't go and access that last thing you copied to go and paste it. But in the clipboard, you can go through your history. So you can still go and see it and you can go and paste it from there as well. So it allows you to go and basically paste multiple things from your clipboard, which I think is really convenient. So to go and get started with this, you need to go somewhere where you can go and use the keyboard on your phone, or that's the notes app, a web browser, it doesn't matter, just somewhere where your keyboard will go and open up. So in this case, I'll go and open up Chrome. Now what I'll do here is I can go and tap on the search bar like this. Now, what you're going to go and find is that if you've got anything typed at the top here, you may go and have the auto suggestion or auto correct. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to go and tap on the options button in the top left of the keyboard. And then you'll go and see this screen here. And what we need to go and locate is the clipboard looking icon. It goes and looks like this at the top. It may be slightly different for you though, but go and locate it. And then what you can do is go and tap on it and it'll go and open up the clipboard. So you're then going to go and see different things you've gone and copied here. This is in chronological order. So the further you scroll back is the older stuff that you've gone and copied. And if you want to go and paste it, literally all you need to do is go and tap on it. And as you can see, it's then gone and pasted wherever your cursor currently is. So it's really convenient. What you can also do is you can go and press the edit button in the top right like this. You can go and select things you want to go and delete them. If you find the clipboard is currently off, then what you need to do is go and turn it on. And then in the future, when you go and copy things, they'll then go and be saved there. But if it's turned off, it won't have gone and saved it. So you can go and toggle it on and off at the top here, like so. I like to go and have it on though. So that's it. If you found this useful and wish to see more, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. I look forward to help you again in the future with more useful guides like this. Have a great day. Goodbye for now.